our live. Welcome, this is the Education Committee in the Vermont House of Representatives on April 16th, and we are continuing our uh, discussion on S-16. And this is related to uh, what it will eventually be titled, a task force on equitable and inclusive school environments. And um, we don't have our ledge council in at the moment, but I thought uh, there's been quite a bit of work that's been done um, by Representative Brady. And I thought we would walk through these sections um, and uh, see if there's any, anything further that we need to discuss uh, in this. I know there was just a question about finding. So um, Representative Brady or, or Jesse, could you bring that up? Thanks, Jesse. 16. And this is dra oh, draft 3.1. That's a good idea. Okay. So let's go through this. So let's just take a look at the findings. Did we end up with some Vermont statistics on findings? Um, <clears throat> we don't. I already, I saw a catch up above. I'll get to Jim that if we've renamed the task force, we have to rename line three and act relating to. Yes, that gets, I think that gets done at the bottom because we can't do that until, I, I think he, there's a, a way of doing that. Um, so the yes. findings have been not, okay. Yeah. Most of these findings are still what was in it coming over from the Senate. Most of them are national. Uh, all of them are national, sorry. And on page two, it's highlighted. There's a new finding added for, that was the suggestion from Rep. James. As I remember, um, didn't um, didn't Wendy Geller have some recommendations on findings? Nothing that would add any Vermont specifics. Their their stuff it gets. We're about to get to their recommendations on the next page. Okay. So Re Representative Austin, did you have? Yes, um, I'm, I, you know, I was just thinking about last night. I mean, I, I just would like um, just Vermont statistics on expulsions and- suspensions. Well, what about, you, what about line 7A there, Sarita? I'm sorry, where is it? Just according to the AOE's report on exclusionary discipline from 2017, which I think is the most recent one we have, 3,600. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm the wrong page. Hold on one second. Line seven. Um, yep, I see it. Yep. I wrote page it. three, bridging to yeah. bridging from page two to three. Yeah. Would it be possible just to get the did you look at the uh, data? I mean, just the percent of um, you know, expulsions and suspensions in Vermont, and then how many were, let's just say, um, BIPOC students. We don't need you know, it, we don't need to know just in general in the whole state. For there is a summary of finding. I'm I'm looking in the uh, exclusionary discipline report. The agency of ed education finds that students who are non-Caucasian participating in free and reduced lunch programs, se section 504 IEPs, male or English languages are overrepresented in terms of numbers who experience expulsion and the number of incidents, including results in inclusion, exclusion. Yeah. Ooh, that, I like that. You wanna just add that? Should we add that as a finding? Yeah, I think that's good. Boy, how'd you find that so fast? Because I actually printed off <laughs> the document. <laughs> oh boy. Sorry, could we scroll down? Cause it, what's coming up next? Yeah, it's- Oh yeah, never mind. it's there. It's in we're there. clearly losing it. <laughs> yeah, the, I, to me, the stats we're looking for are already in there. Yeah, we're we're losing it here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's I, on page I guess, three B. Exactly what you just said, Kate. <laughs> yeah. They're kind of anecdotal. I. It's not a big deal. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I just honestly, I think it's going to be challenging and slow us down. I'll be frank. Okay. Yeah, and I think um, the, the point later in the bill is that we need to get this data. Yeah. Well, I think we we have it. You know, we could. I think it would be one phone call, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm not. If you have a, if, if you can, you know, put, give us a specific language suggestion, 
Okay, let me, Um, I think I was, you know, if I talked to uh, either Wendy Geller or- Yeah. Um, yep. I would talk to Wendy more yeah. than Jess. Yeah, just, okay. thank you. Yep. Okay, so so B covers what we, what we just said. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> uh, and now here's where we get into the, some of the big changes from AOE, starting with eight that are highlighted. This is where they had took pretty big issue with how lack of data was described. And I will say in our side meeting, they were pretty compelling that a lot of data does exist. And so this is the language we landed on. It can be hard to find. They certainly wanna emphasize the privacy laws, which it does complicate getting a lot of this data. Yeah, this is, looks good. So I, I, I felt comfortable with it. I, I just had one uh, letter C, line 19, um, it seemed a bit unnecessary. Which, uh, which part, Peter? Uh, page three, <laughs> yep. 19, where it says, you know, even when available, you, you've got to be careful. Oh, oh okay. It just Would you take out, take out C entirely or just that phrase, even when available? Uh, no, I take out the whole thing. I, it just seemed a little, a little preachy. Okay. Yeah, you know, but there's some truth to it. We can misuse data like nobody's business. <laughs> yeah, it, it just, I don't know. It seemed, it seemed like not a finding, but a scolding. Hmm. I, I, I'm not, I, it's just a suggestion. I'm not married to it. If people want to keep it in, I certainly don't feel terribly let strongly. Just, let me just take a quick look at, at the- Yeah, comment. what do we think? Um, what do we think? Who thinks we should- get rid of it. I can't see your faces. Okay, there we go. All right, we've got two, we've got three. Who thinks it should stay? And some of us are undecided. <laughs> Aaron, you have to be the Let, type. Let's, let's leave it in. It does no harm. That, that's what I was okay. going to say. It doesn't hurt anything. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then going on to page four, that's the last, that last highlighted piece is their reworked language around findings and data. Not sure it really accomplishes much, but it was. Did, did this language come from Dr. Geller? It, yeah, and, and Jess and Ted, yeah, yeah. That's fine. It's from AOE, exactly. Okay. 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 So then we get to the task force. Nothing in the creation has changed. We've uh, updated membership again. So now the school, which one? Superintendents are back in. Is that right? Good. <laughs> yep. They're back in G. Uh, we've we've swapped out which restorative justice group. So this is the one. So um, Lindsay confirmed this. This is she's uh, on the leadership of the Vermont Restorative Collaborative. So when there was concern about including up for learning, they're covered. Yep. Thank you. Yep. And then we added for the students on page six, if we keep going on O, that they are appointed by the VPA in consultation with Up for Learning. That's great. Okay, so then um, line 11, what again was an AOE suggestion, essentially saying, let's use the data we do have, even if it's hard for a lot of people to find, which seemed reasonable. And now we're walking through there, what the task force has to do. So if we keep going onto page seven, um, there's a highlight on page seven. This is, um, Sarita, this was your suggestion here, taking out social and emotional, so that we're just thinking of, that these are related to students' needs holistically. Not saying it's just social and emotional. Uh, E 
Now I'm trying to think where this came from. What if I press my did this, did this come from our testimony? <clears throat> I mean, it seems um, responsive to the testimony we took from Up for Learning and the students. Yes, yes, and Department of Health, right? Is that was that one theirs? Yes, yes, that was the Department of Mental Health, which I love their suggestion here. That's right. Uh, the line seventeen is a critical one here. That a lot of uh, the work there were issues. AOE had issues with what data would be available in FERPA and privacy laws. So that's sort of a blanket statement to get at everything below it, that there will be restrictions. Um, and if we keep going down to the next page, or page eight, um, G was a sort of compromise um, and language, particularly from Dr. Geller on uh, She's got such a, a deep understanding of, of data and using it and using it well and what they have um, and trying to capture uh, this sort of quality of, you know, it's not just a matter of having it, but, but knowing why they're even, why a secretary needs to collect, why a kid is out, even, you know, she had a lot of, I think, helpful things to say. Uh, um, about that, Jay Nichols might have as well, but it, this is part of, of what the task force is hopefully really doing, that we need to get better garbage in, garbage out, that we, you know, that, that even if we have a lot of data, it isn't necessarily of the best quality or not everybody in the data stream might know why they're doing what they're doing. So that, that's a nod to try to capture that. Okay, going on to page nine. Uh, again, they're going to be disaggregating the data by a whole bunch of measures. Again, this is just the work of the task force and a lot of disaggregation bringing us all the way to page 11, where we have changed the dates so that we've given them till January for the initial report and March for the final. Uh, that must have been a good catch for Jim there, the, just getting rid of the task force when I once we have the final. I'm just going to ask him if maybe that should actually go until, you know, June 30th, just to make sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure that was a, um, he, he must have caught that, I didn't. Yeah, let's let's just let's just ask okay, him about that. that. I'm just thinking that yep. they get the report and then they're disbanded. Maybe they're going to give us the report. And maybe we need a little bit need a little bit longer. Right, so, or we may have questions, or yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's let's just okay flag that for Jim. Okay. Uh, for the appropriation, that must have been his catch as well. As I assume is updated because of membership. Okay. Um, then getting into section four, uh, just ensuring that the task force is going to get good cooperation and help and a substantial training from AOE on what already exists and where and how to access it. The training I would like to partake in as well. Yeah, and we might have uh, that for that, something to do with that next, in, in depending on what happens yeah. with the rest of this year. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I think the thinking is then hopefully they're also, AOE does seem open to that they've done a lot of work on their uh, reporting side and the software they use and the interface, but that it's not perfect. And so the task force will be deep in it, may have recommendations for them of how to, things they may want to change or have the, I think there's an, I know there's an outside vendor for the snapshot and some of that stuff. So it gets, of course, into cost then, but. All right, um, on to page 13. Um, D is, so we are not touching independent schools. The decision was too messy and, and extra messy because therapeutic schools are independent schools and are often dealing with, you know, some of the most complicated cases. So, um, and then this language poses an imminent threat of harm or danger was from Department of Mental Health, um, from, from Ted and Department of Mental Health as a suggested language on that. 
And that's everything. Hey, good. Where it stands now. Nice work. So the only thing that I have right now is that question about um, whether the, the, the task force needs a little bit more time after their report. Oh, and there's... Oh, yeah, it's here. Excellent. Well, I, I think uh, uh, Rep. Brady has... Uh, she, she, she should be a lawyer for sure. <laughs> I always kind of wanted to, so I'm trying it out here, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> well, you need uh, her in education. She's a future secretary. <laughs> So I, I'm just glad the questions, I know I had one, were there other questions? I'm, I'm forgetting where we were with that. I wrote it down a couple of things, Jim. So you got yeah. that on page 11, the end date. I, I had Did I you stopped on it, so okay. I really just, just jumped in, okay. Um, the two things then that we flagged for possible changes so far are on page three. We would like, oh, never mind. We agreed not to take that out, right? Sorry, committee. Yep. Okay, scratch that. So that one's fine. Sorry, page 11, the end date of the committee, it's immediate right now after we get the report and we're worried that we may need to hear from them beyond that on okay. page 11. Yeah, it's pretty typical that we put the next day in. As Is the, that, okay. But, but it's fine, I can move that out. How far, would, how far out would, would you like? <clears throat> About a month. About a month. Uh, um, I was thinking June 30th, but but I, I, I don't, if this is more typical to just end it on that day, um, is that just generally what happens with the task force the next day it ends? That's the way I've seen it, seen it yep. Okay. It doesn't mean we Wouldn't can't you? talk to them. I was gonna say, it doesn't preclude them from coming in to testify, right? That's yeah. Have there, you know, if there been any situations where they needed to haul them back in after they disbanded? Uh, no, but moving the dates no problem either. I mean, it's it's whatever you want to do. Anybody on idea thoughts? Bueller. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I it, I will say this is quite a group we're compiling. Yeah. You know, you've got a lot of expertise on that task force. Yeah. Uh, some of the legislative changes that may come out of it might be thorny. I, I, um, I don't yeah, know. Let's extend them. I mean, we're clearly going to need to hear from them after the 15th, but that doesn't necessarily mean they can't Just exist. Yeah. April 15th. If, if they need it. They don't need it. They don't do it. I don't know that that change, does that change any money. So I'm here April 15th. Yeah, that, that's not going to change any money, right? No. I don't know. Nope. Um, represent, were, there, were there any others then other than, than those points, Representative Brady? That's all I have, we have incorporated a lot of feedback from the field, uh, yeah. every single thing, but I will say this is a pretty well, you know, that we've represented a lot of interest and taken, included things from a lot of testimony. Right. Representative Austin? Yeah, just, I know this isn't going to happen, but just philosophically, I would have more students um, on the task force. And, and I know that's not going to happen because we're not adding anybody, but I just, um, just want to say that just to kind of bring that forward. How many students do we have? Two, we have two. Two. Um, bear in mind that uh, this task force can call people in to testify. So they could have up for learning folks come in. They could have a whole group come in and talk to them. Yep. Um, it's, it's a matter of... of uh, yes, no, I understand. I hear you though. Um, Fortunately, we do know that there are groups that are meeting elsewhere. Um, we do know that Up for Learning, for example, has uh, students that are, are meeting. So it's not like there aren't any meetings going on and they might do well to organize a presentation for the tax, task force. Yeah. But I hear you on the need to keep our students involved. Um, anything else?
a possibility is we could vote this out today, which would mean it would sit on the calendar. It would be on notice on Tuesday, presented on Wednesday. If that, wait a minute, this has to go to appropriations, doesn't it? Jim Damore, there's a little bit of money in there, right? Did we address this uh, one before? Or there is. So, so it would go to appropriations. All $6,750 of it, um, which is currently on the general fund, I believe, right? Yeah. So uh, your pref Representative Brady, are, would you be comfortable with us voting this out today? And then it would mean mm -hmm. that it would probably be going off to talk to appropriations on, on Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay. And then probably a floor, floor presentation, probably the earliest would be Wednesday. Wednesday of next week? Yeah. Okay. Um, committee, are you, are you ready to, to vote on this one? This is some really nice work. I, I'm really pleased with this work. So I would entertain a motion to approve. Um, but they changed rep rep will be track 4.1. 4.1 with that, that one change, correct? Correct, yep. With one change, uh, a so motion I'll to move that we approve version 4.1 of S16. Second. Or is it 116? No. <laughs> I'll second, second it. And Representative Arison seconds it. Um, discussion? Seeing none, the clerk shall commence to call the roll. Representative Conlon. Yes. Representative Arison. Yes. Representative Austin. Yes. Representative Brady. Yes. Representative Brown. Yes. Representative Hooper. This is Representative Hooper of Orange County. I vote yes. Representative James. Yes. Representative Toof. Yes. Representative Williams. Yes. Representative Cooperly. Yes. Chair Webb. Yes. Eleven zero zero. Let me do it again. <laughs> that was draft. I'm sorry. I was getting my. So that was draft four point one, right? Yes. Okay. And um, Representative Brady, you will be the reporter. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a good one. You won't believe what will happen when we do miscellaneous ed. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't be the bottle bill. Okay. Jesse, can, can you help me with the list of witnesses? Yeah, of witnesses. course. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 